to the channel, it's your boy, Justin Sawyer. And I'm coming at y'all with a new video today. Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Ah, man. It's a new day. Which means more content. Which means I'm about to get these minutes. Which means y'all are in for a treat. Um, today's video is going to be different just like all my other videos they're different look I am excited to talk about this video y'all already read the title so you know what I'm about to be talking about look <clears throat> I don't know how how I'm going to start it I'm going to just jump right in but before I do that Wait a minute, you know I gotta I gotta do my promo for the day. You know what I'm saying? Before I get started with this video, smash the like button if you enjoy this video. You know what I'm saying? Give it a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Then do that real quick. Just hit that subscribe button. It's gonna take you a second. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Now that you've done that, I want you to turn on the post notifications by hitting that black bell. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a, a bell. All you gotta do is tap the bell and you set. You know what I'm saying? And then comment down below. Leave a comment or some suggestions down below in the comment section letting me know what y'all want to see me post more of on this channel. Now, moving on to the video. Y'all read that title, you know what this video is about. Look, man. Basically, today's video, I'm going to be talking about the, um, the ever so goddamn fucking annoying ass basketball team known as the Golden State fucking Warriors. Alright? Now, I... When I tell y'all that I can't stand these niggas and I hate these niggas with a passion, look, I honestly fucking hate these niggas. Do you know what I'm saying? Outside of Klay Thompson, I can't stand another fucking person on this team. Andre Iguodala, trash. Kevin Durant, fucking snake. That nigga trash. Steph Curry, trash. Fucking faggot. Um... Draymond Green, the nigga is a fucking donkey, you know what I'm saying? The nigga fucking goddamn ugly as fuck. The nigga sucks at basketball. The nigga is trash. You know what I'm saying? Mooney, garbage. Now, I might be making this video because I'm a LeBron fan, but that's okay. Look. The Warriors are having problems as of late. Ever since Steph Curry got injured, it seems like for some reason the Warriors just forgot how to act. Because Kevin Durant and, and Draymond got into it a couple couple games ago, right? And all of a sudden they've been talking about, well, Kevin Durant going to be a free agent and, and he going to leave. And that's why Clay going to leave too and Draymond. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck what happens to that team so long as they just go their separate way. Do you know what I'm saying? You got your championships. You had your fun for a few years. Now just, just do, you, do your own thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Stop with the super teams. And, and Kevin Durant, do me a favor. Stay the fuck away from LeBron. I don't care what Laker fans say. Yes, that nigga is great. Do you know what I'm saying? Is he better than LeBron? No. Stupid. I don't get why people keep saying that he's better than LeBron. No, he isn't. No one can go from... Like, how do you, how do you say you're supposed to be better than LeBron, right? 
This is the same nigga that, that was up 3 1 in the playoff series against the Warriors. The same Warriors from 2016 was up 3 1 against these niggas, blew the lead, lost the series, and then the, the year after is going to go ahead and join these niggas. And then beat LeBron in the finals, talking about this is why I'm better than you. We got niggas on Twitter talking about this is why Le- LeBron is not better than Kevin Durant. Okay, then LeBron can just go to the goddamn Warriors and do the same damn shit. Do you know what I'm saying? They can go to the Warriors next year and just win a couple damn championships. Fine. I mean, he already got damn sealed his legacy. Nigga fifth all time on the scoring list when it comes to points. Do you know what I'm saying? Who was Wilt Chamberlain? Nigga had 44 points, almost had a triple double if it wasn't for a goddamn nigga named Brandon Ingram with his whole ass. Speaking of the Lakers, can can they just trade Lonzo Ball? Like, that man has no type of aggressive bone in his body whatsoever. I'm so tired of that light skinned ass nigga. Like, what happened to this nigga after college? How you 21 years old? You, you getting abused and pumped around every game it seemed like. Nigga, you average about eight points a game. Garbage. Start like Josh Hart over this nigga. Josh Hart got more aggr- more of an aggressive bone in his body than you do. You know what I'm saying? Why is this nigga getting less minutes? Why is this nigga not getting enough play time? But look, man. Also, Ray on Rondo got hurt. He broke his arm. Broke his arm hand. But we're not gonna talk about that. Um, I think he's gonna be out three to six weeks. It's still early in the season. But um, I'm just tired of that nigga Lonzo Ball. I don't. I think the the experiment with Lonzo Ball has got to come to an end pretty soon. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, but when it comes to the Warriors and, and just seeing them. You know what I'm saying? Implode in in games like this. Like my problem with, with the with the argument that they had was like, nigga, alright. So they get so so Draymond grabs the rebound, right? They only have like four seconds. At this point, it's late in the goddamn game, right? The game is tied. Four seconds left overall in the game. Draymond to me did the right thing by trying to at least get the ball up the court. Now, Kevin Durant, what the fuck is you arguing about? Nigga, what the fuck you about to do with four seconds on the clock? Don't get mad at Draymond for trying to be smart and run up the damn court when you over here fucking jogging behind that nigga all fucking slow and shit. You too busy complaining more rather than just, okay, like, let's get up the court first and then see if he gonna give me the ball so I can get a good look. No, you too worried about give me the ball first. See, see, that's my problem right there. Nigga, you need to stop. Like, you're not Steph Curry. You ain't got that type of range in you where you can just say, I'm about to just pull up and have from like full court. Nigga, no. You're not clutch. Like, the nigga's not clutch at all. He ain't got a clutch bone in his body. I don't care what he's done in any finals. Those championships, speaking of, those championships still do not count. Like, nigga, I can care less if that nigga got championships. Congratulations. They don't count, nigga. You ain't you ain't beat nobody, you know what I'm saying? By yourself. And before we go ahead and talk about well LeBron, well LeBron had to move and go to Miami and, and then he, you know what I'm saying, joined the super team. Nigga, the Heat were never a super team. These niggas weren't 72 and 9 before LeBron got there. They never had that better that that type of a record. You know what I'm saying? I think them niggas had a losing record. You know what I'm saying? Before he got there. And speaking of, Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade were already got them in their damn 30s. You know what I'm saying? Who on the Warriors was already over their damn 30s when, when Kevin Durant got there? I think Clay is like what? Barely in uh, almost mid-20s? I think he, he probably is going to turn 30 eventually. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't even 30 yet. I don't know. I'm not checking the goddamn freaking age on these niggas because I don't fucking care about them. But all I'm saying is, and I think most basketball fans could care less if they fucking get fucking traded or whatever. Like, nigga, Kevin Durant about to be a free agent. 
I don't think niggas care if he leaves. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure niggas that don't that can't stand the goddamn Warriors want to see these niggas leave. Niggas over here talking about, oh, we, I want the I want the goddamn league to go back to being goddamn more more about competitive competitiveness. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, what happened to that, Kevin Durant? Niggas, niggas want to play for for the Lakers and the Heat all of a sudden. All right, nigga, then go back to the goddamn Thunder with your ass. So you you got your championships. Like that's what LeBron did. LeBron got his championships with the Heat. Learned how to win, and then said, you know what? Thank you for this opportunity. Now I'm going. I'm gonna go back to Cleveland. We gonna win the championship. You know what I'm saying? Simple. That's why he'll never be better than better than LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Durant will never be better than LeBron, no matter how many rings he got. He will never even be better than Kobe. He's not even going to be ever better than, than Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how, what his stats look like at the end of his career. I don't care what the hell, how many rings he got. It, it don't matter. Though. The nigga is ass until he learns how to win a ring by himself. You know what I'm saying? Without going to a team that is 72-9 and nine, or a team with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. You know what I'm saying? The nigga is asked to me. I don't care. Simple. Draymond, fuck that nigga still. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't really know where that nigga gonna go. I hope that nigga goes to a trash team, you know what I'm saying? Cause that nigga be the most be the be the one doing the most talking on the goddamn team. For no reason. Like, nigga, you're surrounded by four other superstars in this team. You average about fucking 11 points. You do the most talking because you're surrounded by people like Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Durant. Put this nigga on someone like the goddamn Suns and this nigga is ass. This nigga has no championships without Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, and Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know. Even though I hate the nigga Steph Curry, I still don't know how this nigga Kevin Durant has more finals MVPs. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there freaking last season thinking, like I was, I was hurt as hell, right? I was in my feelings watching LeBron lose again because, of course, his teammates want to be fucking ass every fucking year. Even with the Lakers now, his teammates once again trash. Nigga, Lonzo Ball. Like, nigga, you're a point guard. Fucking stoops. Like, this nigga is not aggressive. He's not fun to watch. I don't care what y'all say. Like, ooh, it's just too early in the season. No, nigga. I've been watching this nigga play for actually a couple years now, and the nigga still looks the same to me. This nigga is not aggressive. The nigga, the nigga is trash. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was in college playing aggressive as fuck. What happened to that? What happened to that Lonzo? N- nigga need to grow his hair back. That's what need to happen. Nigga need to go back to that fro. We need fro Lonzo back in this bitch. Maybe he get, he get aggressive when he got the hair back. You've been acting too, too fucking light skinned. Um, but yeah, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. I, like I said, I personally am gonna love and enjoy every single minute of the Warriors implosion if they do happen to leave all at the same time next year between Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, and Draymond. I can care less. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Make it. Make it more entertaining for me to actually get to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Let me enjoy watching the goddamn season. Because as 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 good for the for the last week as the Lakers been playing, I'm still not entertained because I know these niggas ain't doing shit in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? The niggas is probably going to run into the goddamn Warriors in the finals, and or not the finals, the, con- the, what, the conference finals. And as much faith as I got in LeBron to just put these niggas on his back and carry him to a finals appearance, I'm going to say, I don't know who, I don't know what other player is going to help LeBron. You know what I'm saying? No one else in this team got that much experience as LeBron besides Ron, Rondo, McGee, and goddamn Tyson Chandler. No one else has experience on this team when it comes to playing in the playoffs or finals. You know what I'm saying? So we we gonna need some adjustments. 
which is what, what free agency is about, you know what I'm saying? So if that nigga Kevin Durant does decide, you know what, I want to leave, by all means, leave. And if you come to the Lakers, I hope you're ass. I hope LeBron carries you to the championship this year, the finals next year if you come to the Lakers. And if you don't, I can care less. Go to the East. Go anywhere. Just just don't go back to the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? Because if, you, if you're trying to prove now that it's all about the money and all you care about now is the money, you need to go anywhere else but the Warriors. To me. You know what I'm saying? You got the championship that you think you earned. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how a nigga can earn something by going to a team that's 72 and 9 the previous year, team up with three superstars, and then win something talking about I earned it. I find it funny how they talk about earning shit every damn season like they like they actually work hard for the shit. The shit is funny to me. Um But I'm that's just me, man, because I fucking can't stand the Warriors. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash the like button, turn on the post notifications, subscribe. <clears throat> subscribe to the channel first before you turn on the post notifications. After you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell on the side of the subscribe button. So you never miss a video on this channel. I will see y'all in tomorrow's video. I love y'all all my heart. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all tomorrow. <clears throat> I honestly can't stand them niggas. I hate them niggas with a passion. <sighs> Sometimes I just, I just don't turn the camera off. I just be talking behind the camera still. And, I, and I'm still not turning it off. Wow, turn the camera off. Boy, just shut up. See y'all tomorrow, man. See y'all tomorrow.